Hello my kings, queens, and everything in between. It is your queen here thing. Uh, so this is the very last tour of 2018. Uh, 2019 is just a few weeks away. Oh my God, it's, it's really exciting. Um, this year has been really great to me. I, I won't, I'm gonna talk about that in another video, you know, the whole journey and all that stuff. But this video is just for the tour, right? You see there is my Christmas tree that I have put up in the back. There's tons of lights. And the LED strips is actually synced up to the sound around it. So at nighttime, it's like a rave club. Every music just blasts away. It's really cool. Uh, so that's happened. And also, I got my Love Unicorn t-shirt. Mm, so good. I love this shirt. I have a bunch more unicorn t-shirts. But I have a special announcement before we get to the tour video. So those of you who are looking to grow your succulents from seeds, uh, rareplants.me is giving away 25% off if you use the promo code THANK on your checkout. And I believe it's also a permanent code as well. So enjoy and have fun. Yay! Uh, the uh, the uh, info is gonna be in the description down below as well. So no worries. And also a second announcement is that I'm gonna have another giveaway in January. And this giveaway is for everyone in the world, not just Canadians or not just my buyers. Uh, thanks to uh, rareplants.me yet again. Uh, there's gonna be three winners and the winners are gonna get a bunch of mixed lithops and echeverry seeds for them to grow. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah! So stay tuned for that. I'll announce it on here, but usually it's gonna be on my Facebook. Anyways, so let's get to the tour video. It's... <sighs> Man, you know what? A lot of the times, I wanna stop buying, but the problem is I have the internet and I have a credit card and it's just like click, 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 click. I, I, I need, I, my internet privileges need to be locked away. Okay, but let's let's go let's go do that. Come on, kings, queens, princesses, and my twinkie smooth princess, prince, princess, prince. Is, is that how you say? It? Okay, I know princess, princess, and plural says princesses, right? And then the prince is plural is princess. Oh God, English is just so weird. Anyways, we're gonna start from this angle. Oh my God, girl. Don't have a heart attack, please. If you do, come back for more. Anyways, uh, yeah, I, I just did a little curtsy. Oh my God, right? Curtsy, let's curtsy again. Oh my God, end of the year. Um, it looks a lot, and you know what? Whenever I have someone coming over to pick up their um, their order, it's they're pretty much overwhelmed because like the videos do not do this this justice. It's, they just get really overwhelmed a lot of the time. And I can totally understand that because a lot of the times I, I sit over there, see, see my queen bee chair over there, I, my queen bee chair. I sit over there and just stare into, you know, all this and it's very, very beautiful. And I love this setup a lot because during the winter time out there is really like gray and, you know, depressing. And when I wake up, I have all this light and all these color. And you know, a lot of the time it's just, I'm just very happy. Light and color makes us super happy during the winter time. So it's a really great setup. Okay, so where do we start? Okay, so let's start with the supply stuff, which I know a lot of you are gonna ask, like especially new viewers too. And I have a lot of the guides videos, so please do watch that. Um, the shelving units, it's HDX from Home Depot. It's four feet long, go have fun with that. The lighting system that I do recommend are the Sunblasters LED ones. They are $130 Canadian, which is expensive, but in the end, it is worth it. I made a video, go check it out in the link in the description down below. Uh, the white pots are part of my business, so unfortunately, I can't tell you where I buy them. And then the mixing, the soil mix that I use is my soil mix number three. I do have a video on that, please go check it out. And where do I pot buy all my plants? <laughs> Who are my sellers? <laughs> no, girl, no, I buy them online, so go find them online. I can't tell you where my sellers are because well, they're part of my business, right? Okay, I think that's it. Um, so let's start over here. Let's start with this beautiful, beautiful person here. Oh, look. Oh, curtsy. You know, everybody curtsy. curtsy. Okay. Uh, anyways, these are my Gibba Florias. You can tell. They've gone so beautiful. This is my pearl. Mm. The pearl actually gets more uh, of the tumors during the colder seasons. But I believe because it is, uh, you know, having the babies right now, it, it actually has three babies going on right now. So it's not really tumoring, whatever. This is my Gorgon's Grotto. Oh, so beautiful, girl. It is getting my tumors in there. I know you can barely see it, but it is. I love this one a lot because of its thicker leaves. 
Like the, the, its lead is actually very, very thick. Very, very thick and juicy. And even in this uh, condition, like the top of the leaves are actually red, right? So in the summertime, this turns ultra red. Like, ooh, ooh, in the heat and the sun, it turns super, super red. And I love it. Okay, next one is this is my Arlie Wright. Look how beautiful the top is. And this is, uh, honestly, this is just under the Sunblaster's LED. Nothing else for 14 hours a day. 14 hours a day, you know? So beautiful, right? Can you imagine in the summer and in the heat? Oh, gorgeous. This is called a Vilacina ICN, or AKA also known as the Pluto. Uh, so the difference between a Vilacina and Vilacina ICN is the Vilacina ICN actually has the tumors. Yeah, so this one is slowly giving me tumors, oh, which I love so much. Oh, that's the beauty of like um, the Gibiflorias. And my Manoa Loa, Manoa Loa right here is slowly giving me tumors. You can see that? Yeah, I think I'm going to actually shrink this down to size. Yeah, I think this one, I want to shrink that down to size. Yeah, so I'm going to like give it head, you know, cut it off like that and just put it into a smaller pot with more grit into it so that there's no, um, uh, not that much water being absorbed. So it's just going to grow smaller. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh, this is my, this is my, um, uh, Aeonium Starburst. There is a Aeonium Sunburst, Starburst, and Moonburst, okay? Starburst and uh, Sunburst are two different things, okay? Just letting you know, the Starburst stays this size. It doesn't grow bigger than this size, and it's gorgeous. Okay, and then you have the Kalanchoe Pink Butterfly, mo Mother of Millions, or Thousands, Millions, yeah, Mother Millions. And the only way to propagate them is just to pluck the leaves off. You see the leaves on there? Yeah, that's how I propagate them. <sighs> oh man, that's my uh, Echeverra Campfire. Beautiful with a purple hue. This is my expensive one called Jane Naylor from Dick's Wright, which I got from my seller. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it is gonna be more gorgeous. You know what I love about these ones is that they stay purple. Right, a lot, even even in like shittiest like type of light, they stay purple. Some of them just stays back to goes back to green, which is like ugh, whatever. This is my galaxy right here. You see my galaxy? That's another Gibifloria. It has beautiful tumor. It has a kind of like iridescent, no sorry, minty minty purple pinkish type of color. Ugh, gorgeous. I found this. This is called a uh, Echeveria Romeo. I found this at the local nursery. Mike. I'll just buy one. Sorry, I'll just buy one. Why not? That's okay. This is my Linguas that I had. It, it was huge, right? Now I've actually it, changed it to a little smaller size and I think it's better this way. I don't like the Linguas that huge. I like it that's this size. So uh, what I did is just behead it and put it into a more grittier mix with more a smaller pot and it's gonna stay that small. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, let's see. This is my uh, Purple Frills. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is called a mahogany rose slash fireball hybrid. I had a mahogany rose before, but it died during the spring. So whatever. I bought a new one, and it is gorgeous. This is my Echeveria Pimpo. Oh my god! I've been waiting for this one since a long time, and I finally got it too. Finally got it. Oh girl, I love it. This is my Hakuho that I've beheaded. So I'm just waiting for roots to come in. Uh, this is called an angel wings. I've also beheaded it and I want it smaller. This is called an Echeveria Thanos, you guys. Yeah, big and purple and all bumps all around like some ball sack on his chin, right? Mm. Yeah, so this is all an Echeveria Thanos. Yeah, I know the name, it's weird. Uh, this is a Vilacina. The regular Vilacina doesn't have bumps. I've, I've beheaded I want it smaller. Uh, the Takasoko Okina, I want it smaller as well. This is called an Echeveria Heavy Raindrops. You see that? Because the raindrops are heavier, right? Undala right there, I've beheaded it. I've gotten to smaller. No way as well, smaller. My Graptovera Banisi, which has turned into a more, uh, let's say lighter purplish. Yeah, lighter purplish color in the LED lights. Suiyan, well, actually I want to get rid of that, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, that is called an Andromeda. It was, gig it was, it was literally looked like a gigantic, like, um, cabbage, purple cabbage, but I've shrunk it down to size. Uh, both of these are uh, Calubras, you know, 
Colubras. This is my backup. That's my other one. My fantastic fountain is finally looking like a fantastic fountain. You can see that, right? And this one has been battling a lot with like mealy bug infestation. You just gotta keep going. If you want it, you just gotta keep going. It's finally kind of over. Oh, it's getting there. Uh, this is this is the uh, concrete uh, concrete planter that I got from the Gay Boys. Oh, they're cute. And apparently, this is like the really much more darker one. They had to use a lot of pigment, so I got that. That as well, right? Mm, the Gay Boys came over the other day. They're so cute. <laughs> and then no yeah because they brought they brought my pink one they brought my pink planter right here and I think somebody asked oh, isn't it easier to drill like holes in them just to get you know they're concrete nobody got time to drill holes in concrete man nobody got time for that right nobody got time yeah nobody got time so this is also called a Echeveria Shaviana mutation the mutation has thicker and more riffle leaf and the leaves are also a little variegated as well. You can see that there's different, there's like nice variegation patterns on them. Very beautiful, can turn ultra pink during the summer, the summer light, or actually in uh, LED lights. This is called a Aeonium uh, leprechaun. I call it the leprechaun, but it's actually called a uh, Lysoferum. Lysoferum, you can tell the, yeah. I have like these like cute little um, name tags. It's cool. This is the Helena X Raindrop. Oh, it's, it's almost one year old. Yeah. Uh, the afterglow that I've had, I, I don't want it big anymore. I want it small, small and tiny. So I think that's it for that row. Yeah. Ooh, I got some beautiful air plants, you guys. Let me let me go here. I got some beautiful air plants from yeah from from my sellers. Yeah. So this is always pink, and he increased the price on it. Unfortunately, you know, I really like. I wanted to bring a lot of these in for people, but unfortunately, he brought he brought he increased the price. So it's like what. This is called a lemon lime, whatever, I don't know. This is the baby of it, yeah, so. And then I got some, uh, some of these, which hasn't rooted, whatever. And then I also have variegated uh, strings of hearts too. Cool, dang, you got so much stuff, I know. Get ready for row number two. There is my fairy castle, which you know what? I found the variegated version one, so guess what? This is going off the balcony soon. I know, my Bronzia Maximiliani uh, Ruby necklace, which isn't more ruby because you know, it doesn't have the correct light to be ruby, whatever. And here are a bunch of things. <sighs> Take a deep breath, y'all. Take a deep breath of how beautiful all these things are. Oh, this is a new addition for me. This is called the Hawarthia Pamela Donuts or Little Circles. Right there, you can see the little circles. I know that's cute, right? Yeah. That's cute. Uh, oh, this is empty because it's supposed to be a Krasila Buddha's temple cluster, but I, I'm selling it off. My my Grenovia is still pink. You see that? That's still a beautiful pink. This is the uh, this is the star Starburst crested Starburst. Mm hmm. I just put the salmon here, so we'll see if it changes color. Uh, I want to get rid of this rainbow. I don't care about rainbows anymore. They're just whatever. They're just whatever. Uh, let's see what else is there. I can show you. Ooh, my moonburst. Oh, it's growing. It's growing. My pubes. Everybody loves my pubes, right? It's so purple. You know what's funny? Uh, everybody else's pubes is green. Mine's just purple. I don't know why. Purple Nerpo. Mm, that's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the name of this one, but I'm gonna just gonna call it like uh, the Pachyveria Peach. Blue Peach. Let's call it Blue Peach. Is that okay? Let's call it Blue Peach. Okay. The Moon Glow, which I'm gonna replace with a variegated one. My Aeonium Lily Pad, which is tiny. Uh, I found the name to that. That's an Elaine. My Tinkerbell. You've seen the differences between the lights. This is the pink Tinkerbell. Right, so beautiful. Moonstones, right? Ah, this one. This one is called an Echeverry Resley. Yup, Echeverry Resley, girl. And you know what's funny? My balls hasn't opened yet. Everybody's balls opened. Mine just has not opened. I don't understand why. God, guys, look, look my balls are hairy, but they're not open. I don't understand that. Like seriously, I, and it's nice beside the window too, which is cool. It should be, it should have been open. It's not open yet. Ugh, whatever. Moon goddess. I'm gonna merge this with my other like pink moonstones, whatever. I think this is a um, also a chroma, so we'll see about that. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is a black. I don't care about that. Lagomiso. I don't really care about that either. My Helen that I have for almost a year now, and everybody's like, oh my god, how do you keep it so compact? Mine is just like spread ego. I don't know. I just leave them here. Pulvinati frosty. 
Uh, Zaragoza, I think this is just a Zaragoza, not Zaragoza pink, sorry, I gotta change that. My champagne, which you know what, I need to put into a bigger pot because it's gonna go gigantic, right? My Beltana that I was gonna throw it because of mealy bug infestation, it was really infested, like really infested in the summer. You know what you do? You take it out and you, you like remove all the dirt and put it aside and just spray it. And keep spraying it until it's everything gone and now, now it's recovered. Agavoides, Ebony, don't know what that is. My Exotica, my Pachavera Exotica, not Echeveria Exotica. Uh, Mocha Variegated, Dark Desire, Silver Queen. Oh my God, the Silver Queen is so beautiful. Like, both of them are so beautiful, like right beside each other. Right, I know, right? Uh, another Zaragoza, the Lovely Rose. My Violet Queen, oh finally she's recovered, girl. Uh, and then this is called a Rubella. Let me show you the Rubella. Oh my gosh, Rubella. Oh, you see that? That's beautiful, right? That's very beautiful, yes. Yes, yes, no, 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 no. Are you turn, I'm turn, I'm turn, whatever. <laughs> uh, my Overferum uh, Shuriken right there. And this one I got from the Potrigo, from the man I always see, the Clefaria. Miss Richard. Yo, Miss Richard needs her man. She got two heads going, three heads going, but she ain't happy. Painted frills, so beautiful this year. Last year I had an under LED lights and it just turned black, which is also beautiful, but this is super, super beautiful. My Peach Pride, oh, it's so compact, right, you guys? Right, uh, Polydonis, which I need to get rid of. Irish Mint, Crested Irish Mint. I don't know the name of that. Uh, my Minagosa Ong that I have beheaded. The Perso, uh, what is it called? Per, per, Pusurum, 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 mm, yeah. The normal one, I got the white one now. I got the white one, I'll show you later. Rainbow Sunset, which is coming too. The Grataveras Silver Star, some, I don't know, I don't care about that. Uh, I think that's a Lowy of some sort, I don't know. I think that's, I don't know what that is. I, I gotta find out. My Lemon Berry is beautiful, my compact, the Pearl Von number, which is the only Pearl Von number that I enjoy. The other one, I do not enjoy. I'm gonna get rid of the other one, I'm gonna throw it off the balcony. My three uh, Echeveria Trumpet, Echeveria Trumpet, the big one, medium, and small one. This one is going to a new home soon. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is, this is going to a new home. I think on Thursday or Friday, it's leaving us. Uh, my Echever Medusa, which is a topsy-turvy reunion uh, in, in that type of family, it is gorgeous. It's, it's coming too as well. I think I need to like move this. No, it doesn't really matter, yeah, whatever. Uh, topsy-turvy right here. Oh, sorry, this is the Swan Lake. It's coming too as well. Topsy-turvy and Cubic Frosty, they're all within the same family. And that also includes the, uh, I believe, the Cupid. Yep, the Cupid. Now we have the Black Prince Variegated. Oh, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous, and then this is the new one I found. It's the Black Prince Silver Mutation. Let me zoom in if I can zoom in. Yeah, Silver Mutation, just gorgeous. My Grapta Pendulum Pentendrum Super Bump Variegated. It is getting hot in here, girl, hot in here. Actually, I found a new seller, so I, I don't mind if I kill it now. <laughs> uh, my Japan Moon River, absolutely beautiful variegated. The Nebula, do you guys remember the Nebula that I bought last year? It's been, a, it's been one year. It's pretty much almost one year since I bought it. And it's looking, looking very nice, but it still doesn't have any bumps, but we'll give it a few more months. My Midway, I think I need to put that into a bigger pot as well. It's getting there. My Fury Fire, I also think I need to put that into a bigger pot. Uh, the heart select, which stays this size. Uh, the blue metal, which is in the fa same family as the Mason. I don't know the name of that. The Fun Queen. Uh, the Chroma, same family as the Chroma right there. Right? And the Maleco, which is, thanks Connie. I've been looking for the Maleco for a while. And the Sober Cybo uh, Bolton as well. Yeah, same family. And then you got the Ram Vampire Red Ball, oh, gorgeous. And this is called Acetaveria Chocolate. I don't care, it's, 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 that's what I'm naming it. This is an orange Monroe. Okay, you guys, there is only one type of Monroe. It's the orange Monroe. It changes colors depending on the temperature. Okay. It'll, it'll turn pink too. This is the cream tea, mm-hmm. My Graptaveria Tibetans variegated. <laughs> it's so tiny versus everybody else's, like gigantic. Grenovia. Mexican giant, gorgeous in the summer though. Look at this Polydonis, it's crazy, isn't it? 
Like it has babies all around, crazy. My pink champagne, the head of, the head of it, mm-hmm. And now, onto this. This is my girl. This is my actual Mishkis collection. Oh my God, thing. Why do you do this to me? Because I want you to experience my world. A whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. Oh, sorry. Anyways. So this year I really got into Adro Mishkis and Gibble Flores and a bunch of things. You know, you learn what you like most, right? Yeah, I love the gigantic, plus I like, like the small. So I pretty much organized them into their subspecies. So this is the Shout, Shout the Anus. Shout the Anus, they have a lot of anus names, I'm sorry. Shout the Anus. Shout the Anus uh, south of Warmbat, which is the silver version. Shout the Anus with uh, pink edges is the original version. Shout the Anus something, this is the pink version. Mm -hmm. And then I got the uh, Adro Mishkis Mirene South Clan William, the white version. The uh, red Clan William, red version. And the original one, which is the clan version, which is the dark version. And then I have the tiny shitty balls, that's what Tanya calls them, shit balls, called Albangine. Adro Mishkits, Albanj, yeah. I got the coral, turns red. I got the lime drops, which is pink on top. I got the coffee beans, ooh, so beautiful. I got the, this, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Then I got the torque, torque right there. Yep, I don't know how to pronounce that either. Those ones, yeah, I got those ones too. And then I got, I got, I got two different type of spheroids. One's darker and one's normal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, and then I got a Halley right there. I got the, this one. This one is apparently three years old, uh, which is like a lot of money. And then the four-year-old is like over $150. Oh my God. This is called a, uh, what's it called? It's called a Ma Mamilleris Blafosput. Blafosput. It is beautiful. You got these things here. Oh God, dang. I want them all. I know you want them all, but you can't have them all. And then I got, these ones as well, my old ones, right? So gorgeous, isn't it? All oh, these Agile Mishkis, yeah. And I think I have like four more Agile Mishkis co to collect and I'm done. Yeah, that's, that's, that, my, that is my Agile Mishkis collection. It is getting quite big, I know, but you know, what can you do when you love something so much? You give it away. No, I'm not gonna give it away. Stop it, stop it, I'm gonna slap you, stop it. Uh, this is my pink collection. Usually it, it's, it's down under here, but you can't really see it. Well, see, look. Oh, that's not good, right? No, no, no. So I put it up here for you to see. My pink collection uh, that has turned pink. My favorite one out of these is actually the Madiba. Right there, the Madiba that turns pink. It's actually really uh, peachy during the summertime, but during the wintertime when it has a little cold, cold and like it's starving, it turns super pink. The Duna that's absolutely gorgeous as well during the wintertime. Uh, I don't know about that, don't care. That's a salmon, I need to change it to color. Uh, raindrops, don't care about that. Uh, the, these ones are also absolutely gorgeous during the winter time as well. The Pachavarias, Pachifitoides. Pacha yeah, Pachifitoides. I'm gonna sit because my feet hurt, sorry. Okay, next is the pad, the same one, but variegated version, absolutely gorgeous as well. The Lausicina, which is, oh, so peach, purple. Mm. Oh, gorgeous. Angel finger, which I can't get it to turn pink or that well. Hmm. Uh, the Orpit, absolutely gorgeous as well. Oh, God, it's turning pink. Uh, the Feral Raindrops, a smaller version of the Raindrops, so it'll stay like this small size versus like these ones where it just goes bigger. These ones stay this size. It's been, it's been like that for almost a year now. Uh, the Cupid, oh, absolutely gorgeous as well, oh, my God. Fred Ives that I kept small, and I think it's a little crested, and it's, it's also pink as well. Yep, and also my vagina eater. Do you guys remember my vagina eater? So I need I need a lot of sun and I need a little bit cold to change it to red red again. But I suspect that I think they use like food coloring. I'm gonna try that. I suspect they use food coloring. Who knows? We'll try that next time. Uh, this is pretty and pink. It's back to normal and it's looking very very pinkish. Uh, the ruby bush. The ruby bush. The uh, what's it called again? Um, Povenati ruby. Bush, yeah, bush, yeah. So that's my pinkish collection. I have more pink stuff over there, I like it. And this is my propagation tray. This is the only tray that I use. That's it. 
I don't have any other propagation tray except for this because I don't want to do propagation tray anymore. Okay, over her, over her, over here, I want to show you. Over here is my other propagation tray for my, uh, my Giba Florias because Giba Florias really, the high majority of them can only be propagated by bloom stalks or uh, seeds, right? Or beheading. They cannot be propagated by leaf cutting. So this is all bloom stalks and uh, slowly but surely it gives you nice babies. You see that? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see that here? This is the dream. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, did, did that give you a headache? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so this is the dream rose that's giving me a baby right here. I know you can't really see that. This is also a baby right there. See that? That's a baby. So slowly, surely, it will give you babies. It just takes a lot, it just takes quite a while. You know, but that's okay, you know, but you know it does work. So down here, because it's all red, you might not be able to see it very well. This is my dick liquor. You can see my dick, beautiful dick liquor. It looks like it can lick some dicks, right? Beautiful. And people think that's the Acrasula uh, lime, lemon lime or something, or whatever, it's not the same ones. Because the, the variegated leaves don't turn yellow and the variegated leaves are like strips, right? The lemon, the lemon surprise or whatever is like full variegated, like these are not the same. And also the leaves actually twist and turn. Yep, this is my mom's. She loves this one. And I leave it down there because it gives it, it like nice, beautiful, nice, um, turns the top beautifully and nicely red for her. She loves that. That's why I leave it down there. It's gorgeous, right? And then I got my, I got the titty nipple tree, titty nipple tree, my titty nipple tree that I kept. Beautiful. And then some other stuff down there. Let me show you. Ah, uh, let me show you. Um, these ones are Sedum Dasphilium Minor. They're really great. They're also cold hardy. And they change color during the winter time. So they're like pretty much rainbow colors. Well, you can't really see it, but they're pretty much rainbow colors during the winter time, all year long, really. This is my favorite. It's one of my favorite, one of my first type of plants I've ever had. Crassula brevifolia. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, it's really simple, but I, I do like it a lot, right? Uh, baby buttons, it's still alive. Mm -hmm. The non-variegated Tom Slums right there. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mirene, Mir I don't know how to pronounce it. It's right there too. I'm going to get rid of these ones, the Crassula ovara golems, the hobbit ears, because I'm going to get the variegated versions. I'm going to like, trash this. I'm going to throw it off the balcony. And if you're, if you're there to catch it, that's great. If not, I'm still going to throw it off, so I'm not going to keep it. Um, why? God, you guys learn, you guys have to learn how to let things go because there's tons. You know what? It's, it's also, I'm, I'm throwing it back into the earth. Okay. It's being composted. It's going back into the earth. So it's not like, it's not like I'm throwing it somewhere else. It's going back into the earth. It's being recycled. Okay. Ooh, titty nipple trees that I need to, need to get rid of. So I'm going to get rid of these one. Belgrave. I want to get rid of that too. Uh, my granovias, my pink granovias. I think that are still pink. The cluster ones. Yeah. The cluster ones right there. Yeah. Uh, variegated uh, elephant bush that you've seen many times. It's actually a real variegated one. Right, real variegated one. Like a little tiny size of this at the nursery is like $20, $30. Fuck my life, right? Uh, my, the vagina plant, people call it the vagina plants because it looks like a vagina. But this is called a crassula tematosa. See, it looks like a vagina, right? It's so weird. I've never really seen a vagina except for in porn. My Luella crest, oh, my Luella is already crested. The other crested stuff and that thing over there. Oh, that's not good. Uh, this, I don't really care for. I'm going to get rid of it. So that's it for that side. So let's go to the other side, you guys. And I'll show you the rest. I want to show you some other stuff. Um, okay, so I got the Calico Kitty right here. It's variegated. It's really nice and pink right now. Really nice and pink. And this side is the other Gibba Florias. So this is my Lilac Fra. Oh my gosh. Lilac frost, beautiful. Okay, it's a beautiful lilac frost. It is gorgeous. I'm gonna keep it this size. You know, I might be headed, so I wanna keep it. And then I wanna keep a smaller one. I don't know. Uh, this is called New Heights Raindrop. So I might also shrink this down a little bit more as well and more grit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is my Japanese purple. So it's been two weeks or three weeks. And look at that tiny, beautiful baby. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Oh my God. Uh, this is called the No Way that I beheaded, remember? 
This is, a, this is also the beheaded stuff. And this is the Edna. Oh, Edna is so cute. I love the Atuna. Oof, 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 oof. Uh, the Paul Bunyan that is kind of like sick. And so it just grew new stuff. Not so bad. Uh, the KS Red Trump, look at that. Look at all those babies. It's giving me so many babies. This is only three weeks. See, this is why like, I honestly, I, I, I say give good head. Learn how to give good head. Always give good head. If you're, don't be afraid to cut your plant. You know, don't be afraid to chop that. It's better to do that than like take little leaves and like hope that you get a new plant. And you know what? And while that time that happens, your other plants already died. And then, you know what, what else is gonna happen? The, 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 the leaves that you've taken up also died and then you have nothing, nothing. Learn how to give good head. When you give good head, you get good stuff back. See, this is good stuff, right? Same with this. These are the babies under, uh, in the undala. Nice head. Everybody learn how to give good head, please. Praise be. Praise be, give good head. I think, you know what? Okay, I think that's my, that's my saying because Laura Eubanks has the hot mess. Mine's, mine's going to be give good head. Yeah. Oh my God. That, that is, that's going to be one of, my, that, one of my phrase. Give good head. Give good head. Learn how to give good head. Yeah, what a hot mess. <laughs> oh God. Oh, that's, okay, that is my phrase. Give good head. Anyways, uh, the Acavoides ebony, uh, I think orange, that uh, someone sold me. Um, it's not the exact one I was looking for, but I, I, I am looking for these ones. And when I got it, it was actually green, but when I put it onto LED lights, look how beautiful it's turned into red. Beautiful, isn't that? Beautiful, and also when I got it, the leaves were actually more spread out because it didn't get enough light. 14 hours of light and it's trying to close the rosette, which is something that we always want, right? Because we always want that compact type of form, like really compact, it's more beautiful that way, right? So 14 hours under the right light. If 14 hours and it's still spread out, guess what, your life ain't powerful enough, honey. Go ask your hubby, your man friend, or your sugar daddy to buy you a brand new one. If you don't have a sugar daddy, have a sugar honey or get your visa, whichever one. The Hakuho you saw over there, over there. Look at that, look at that beautiful baby, oh, gorgeous. The Minagosa, I'm gonna show you down here. So many babies, I think it's giving me eight babies down there, oh, so gorgeous. Sensevaria, the Kunti that I've chopped down because I don't want it big anymore, Kunti, so tiny. Uh, the Moonstone, somebody's picking up one. So I'm thinking of putting this back underneath the LED lights because it's more, pink under the LED lights. This is more whitish pink, washed out pink. So I'm gonna go do that. And these are the propagated stuff uh, that I need to grow. So whatever, whatever thing. And then the rest over here. So I'm gonna show you on this side first. These are my bunny ears, okay? These are my bunny ears that everybody wants to love and have. But unfortunately, they are much, much, much more harder to take care of versus a lot of succulents, right? And what I've learned is that even though the, the top dries out, like these ones right here, these ones right here, as long as they have not collapsed and they still look like this, they're still alive inside. They're still very green and alive inside. When it's collapsed like this, that's pretty much dead. That's dead. Yeah, like this is still alive. They're still alive. They're just like, it takes a, a quite some time for them to actually recover. So unfortunately, that's the lesson learned this time. And I'm never bringing them in, unfortunately, because they're not for um, newer succulent owners or someone who's new to succulents. You know, if you don't have the patient or understanding, you're just going to be very frustrated with that. And you're just going to like want your money back. And I'm going to say, fuck off, you know, give it a few months and let me know how it goes. Right. Anyways. Uh, besides that, Avonia, the Codex one. Yeah, I have a Codex Avonia. No one thinks I do, but it is a Codex Avonia. Uh, this one actually has finally has roots. Thank God, hallelujah. It's been this whole, whole summer. This is a new one. This is the Hawartha Pamela Emperor version. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see the, let me show you, let me show you. You see the detail? Oh, that is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, that is beautiful. And I have another one over there for somebody, but that one was under LED lights, so it's turning a little bit red, rouges. It's still beautiful, right? Okay. Um, my Tycho lead on one of them. The other one kind of died, unfortunately. I'm gonna get another one. Uh, the variegated carry, which I need to water once a week because I, I've watered like twice and it's, it's drying up. I need to water more often. That girl was thirsty and dry, you know? 
So next, which is my new obsession, I'm gonna show you. These are called Astroloba, Astroloba, uh, repeat after me, Astrolobas. They are a close cousin to Haworthias. And these are sharp as fuck and they, can, they will cut a bitch really easily. They're very, very sharp. You can pretty much use them as weapons. And you know what? No one will suspect them as being sharp. They're very sharp. These are these are my new obsession. And I'm looking for more, one more Astroloba. It's the Astroloba Harry, I believe. Because this is the Astroloba Rubby, Rubry Flora and Astroloba Detoidia. Yeah, those ones are beautiful. I love the geometry on them. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Uh, baby toes. Uh, Haworthia viscosa right here. Another one ge ge geometrical type of shape. I love it. Um, silver dollar plant. Mm -hmm. I got a Haworthia chocolate over here. You can see the chocolate? Yeah, I got the chocolate, Haworthia chocolate. I don't really care for it, but whatever. Oh, oh, another one. Another one of these. these uh, this is called a Haworthia uh, Starkiana hybrid. And it is gorgeous. See, you see the uh, geometrical patterns? It's love, it's beautiful. And also this is sharp as well. It will cut a bitch in half. Mm, seriously, I need to get rid of this. I don't care for this anymore. I don't need to get rid of jelly beans. I don't need to get rid of that. Sedum multiseptus. Mm -hmm. And then I got, see, do you see this? This is the white form. So this is called the pur purple sur serum, uh, white form or white purple serum. Uh, so it was stuck in like with delivery for like two weeks. And it kind of like got damaged from mealybugs, so I just kind of saved it. So we'll see what happens. I might get another one, I don't know. The Chandelier Kalanchoe, right? Oh, and this is this is called the Senecio Sempervivum Granti right here. It's a codex type. It is really, really cool. I got, I just recently got that. Mm-hmm. Haworthia Zebra is, I like that one because it's like black, right? And it's like, those, those patterns are just gorgeous. Hold on. Oh, sorry, sorry, just gorgeous, okay. Uh, let's see what else is there. Aeonium, that, I don't know what this is, but it's beautifully, gorgeously black. Mm -hmm. I need to get rid of these as well. Yup. Uh, my codex plant, I don't know. Uh, the Pomilla Haworthia pearls right there. Yeah, my Pacopodium that I finally moved in here. There, it's looking good. Me, me, me Euphobia, me Euphobia Monadidium. Cocoa, whatever, I don't know, I don't know. But I really like that. I like the leaves, it's nice and thick. These ones are cool. Granovia, I need to get rid of that. Aloe, I need to get rid of, I kinda like that, I don't know, I need to get rid of. Agave, some stuff. I like this one, cause it's nice, it's nice, it has those nice chisel type of leaves. I like, I like that one. The rainbow, I need to get rid of, I don't care for it anymore. I'm over the rainbow. <laughs> over the rainbow, my Orby and some stuff as well that I also need to get rid of. I don't really care for them anymore. And a bunch of things I don't care for anymore. Yeah, yeah. I know it's weird, like, it's, I don't know. I can't, I, just, I can't, I don't know what to say. And then down here, I put these here so that when uh, I sell them or give them away, they're, they have the nice red color to them, right? I can't come closer, look what happens, yeah. The Shavianas, I leave down there so they get, get their colors before they get to their owners. Those are already bought. You remember, you remember what I said about the um, bear paws right here? If you sniff them, they smell like some kind of weird BO. It's like, it's like the smell of like dry saliva, yeah. So when you lick your arm and you don't like, uh, you don't, uh, you don't uh, clean it and you smell it, that's what it smells like. Or like your dog saliva, that's what it smells like. I don't care about that pearl by number, really. I'm just gonna throw it out, I don't care. Mother of millions. Mother of thousands over there. I got some agaves and haworthia down here. You know, tons of stuff down here. Spirals, don't care, don't care. Aeonium, like something which is really cool. And then I got my aloe plants. Aloe, I got ni my nice aloe. My aloe ab aborescence, right? I finally found the name of it, aborescence. My aloe vera. And then my mom's plants, which I gotta check if there is any mealybugs. I gotta check if there's any mealybugs. And, and, Right here is my aloe something. I forgot the name, but it's an aloe tree, which is really cool, girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I love that. I, I saw it from my seller and I, I, I want it. He's like, okay, here you go. Like, okay, thank you. My mom's orchids that 
They also get mealybug infestation, so you gotta watch out for them, okay? So I, I finished cleaning them. Let's hope. Uh, and this week, I'm also gonna spray them as well, my mom's. Yeah, because you know, she takes care of my plants. You gotta take care of her plants back, right? Hello, everybody. You can see me in the, in the mirror, in, in the window. This is a mirror window. See, I'm posing. Anyways, uh, okay, dolphin plants, simple. I just leave them by the windowsill right here and that's it. It doesn't really require much. You just leave them there, right? That's all, that's all I do, right? That's all I do. Uh, Crimson Queen, I also leave it there. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't really care for that. That is, ugh, whatever, I don't care about that. Um, I sold the pot to this, so hopefully it'll come back, yeah. And then you get my mom's orchids as well. There, it's blooming. Hold on, let me, let's, I think it's better to go under. Yeah, see it's blooming. Yeah, my mom's orchids are blooming. Beautiful orchids are blooming. All right. Then more of her orchids. Yeah, I take care of them. So once a week, I water them and I also look at their, you know, if there's any infestation. That's what you should do. Because my mom takes care of my plants and which she's away, I take care of her plants for her as best as I can, as much as I can. And then I still have, oh yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on, let's go back here. I still have this, which is the pitcher plant. We've cut it up and it's still growing. Yay. Right, yay. And then, hold on, let me reset this. There you go. And then let's go on to here. So this is pretty much where I work. Where I work, where I sit here and I do all the work and you've seen me stream from Facebook, Instagram, here. This is where Queen Bee sits when, uh, when he works. Versus over there, that's where Queen Bee sits when he just wants to stare off into the abyss. Yeah, so here is a bunch of things I wanna show you. <sighs> okay, so this is the jade that's okay, I don't really care for, but it's, it looks, eh, whatever. I don't care for the tricolor jade, the Ellen Ripley, which I still love. I wish there was a variegated version of this. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? It's two years old. I think it's two years old. And it's so nice. The stem, everything is gorgeous. Oh, I love that one. Uh, our Thanksgiving uh, plants right here, which I think I need to spray. Yeah, I, I need to, I need to spray. I need to spray right there. Yeah, I need to spray. Yeah, and then this one is the blue chalk. It's come, becoming bonsai. Yeah, bonsai. Is that a word? Bonsai. Bonsai, bonsai, bonsai. Hold on. Okay, so this is what I want to show you. Oh, besides this, look at this nice cute piggy. I got my sense of area in here. This is the uh, the white whale fin, the whiter whale fin. I gave someone the option of this versus like a more greener one of this, and they're like, which one do I choose? I don't know. They're both the same price. I'm like, yeah. Like, how could that be my? Okay, well, I'm not giving you a choice then. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. So whatever. Sorry. Uh, anyways, besides that, I mean, it's, it is cute, like, uh, cute thing. White whale fin. This is my beautiful Echeveria sea dragon. It's coming too. You see all the tumors, the, the meat. It's, it's just getting gorgeous. I love it. I love it. It's so beautiful. I don't know how to tell you this. I mean, I wish I, wish I was living in a more uh, hotter climate to actually really superly enjoy it more, but it's the best I can do and I, I still love it, right? And this is one of my prized possession. This is called an Echeveria Bacchus. It gives you tumors all year long and it has very, very nice thick leaves. So what I'm gonna do with this one, which is honestly like my super prized possession, I, I've loved this plant since I've got it. I've loved this plant since I got it. Like, I, out of all of them, I love this one the most. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, as much as I dislike having to be head, I'm gonna give it head. And then I'm gonna grow a few babies, keep one small and keep one gigantic like this. And I think that's the best way to go. I love this one. So I'm gonna use this as one of my example for another video. But this one is, is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I know some of you don't like the bumps because it's disgusting but I, or it's ugly, but it's, you have to appreciate the beauty within the ugly you know you can't just be like that's ugly i don't care you know well you're ugly too so i don't care <laughs> anyways i love it uh, so this is a shavianu mutation i think i showed you uh, this is another one double headed and it's look how beautiful that is right 
there, you know what, the, you know what, the, with this like new um, buyer thing, like I find so much more interesting things out there. When I look for things, when I sit around, do nothing, I just look at plants and I, I dwell deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into it. And I find more interesting things to bring for us Canadians, right? Um, for me, I never like to sit around and, and, you know, do the same things over and over and over again, because once you do that, you're going to miss out on a lot of other things in the world. So I always like to move on to, you know, look, look for new things. Yeah, that's me. And this is my Echeverria Champagne here. So th I think we're going into week number eight now since I've given it good head. This is week eight. This is week eight. So this was attached to this, this plant. You see the huge difference between the two? That is a huge difference, okay? You can tell me leaf propagation is the best way. I'm gonna say, fuck off. Because head propagation, beheading it, is the best way. Look how big that is. It is gorgeous. Right, I got two. So, praise be, you know, if you're looking to propagate, just give it, give it head. Learn how to give good head, you know? That's, this is the perfect prime example of like, um, what happens, you know? Yeah, anyways. So I'm gonna show you here, before we end the video, kinda end of the video. Um, so these are my current orders that I need to finish. A lot of them already paid pay for and a lot of them were just waiting until the end of the holidays to ship out. So I'm going to show you this. This is, this is for, uh, this is for my contest winners. So this is, this is, uh, this is, um, first place prize right here. So all this right here is for first place prize. Look at all that, right? Cause these are all the plants things doesn't give a shit about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, and, and something new too. And it's beautiful. It is beautiful, right? And this is this is uh, this is uh, winner number two as well, right here. And you get like these things too, right? And this is winner number three. Yeah, all this is from my giveaway. See, I'm, and you know what? Prizes are also random, so you can't be like, yeah, I'm only gonna enter that giveaway because I know he's gonna give that thing. No, hunty. You don't get a choice what you get. You're just gonna get plants that I pick for you. So you better enter in all the contests. You can't be like choosy. Nah, nah. And if, if, if you win and you're like, yeah, I don't really want that, I want the other stuff, guess what? I'm gonna disqualify your ass. Ha! <laughs> I'm crazy. Anyways, uh, this is baby toes as well. Yeah, baby toes, I brought them in as well. Uh, just different variety, different version, different, you know, climate. It looks really different, right? It, it has the, it has like the peach pinkness to it. Really nice. Uh, this is called the Crassa Baby Surprise. I've been looking for them for a while and I finally found them, right? My bluebird, a new bluebird, because my other bluebird died. And this is the Agavoides that I wanted. Yes, this is the Agavoides red lipstick, the, the darker version one, you can tell. This is the real one I want. Not the other one I showed you before, the orange one. This is the exact one I want. This is the one, yeah. Because uh, my, uh, my seller, I thought he was going to send me this. He sent me this. This is just an Acavoides. This is the Ebony. Acavoides. Acavoides Ebony. Acavoides. Acavoides Ebony. Anyways. Uh, this is a new one. I don't forgot what it's called. But it's really cool. It's a small size like that. Yeah. So sometimes I like to buy like certain things for myself just to test out like what it looks like. Or how big they are. Right? I don't think these are going to live, but that's okay. I don't care. Uh, Aeonium Halloween. We'll see how that goes. Right, and you get a bunch of things here for uh, people, right? You got a uh, Hawartha Ratesu, uh, the uh, big version right here. Pretty cool. I'm not really into Hawartha, I don't really care about that. Uh, it's also variegated. This is another Hawartha Ratesu variegated as well. The smaller version, I believe, yeah. Or the gigantic version, whatever. A Silver Prince, really cool. Every single time, as every single Echeveria I got from this guy, like I saved from myself, they all die. Everybody else is fine. Mine just dies. I don't know why. This one is cool too. Another Haworthia. I don't know. Um, Black Prince. You've already seen one. A Fury Fire for Faria. Yeah. Adromishkis. Right down there. Yeah. Granovia. Aeonium lily pads. So many lily pads. Echeveria Lowies. There's so many Lowies. Oh my god, thing. How do you Lowie the world? I don't know. But just to let you know, 
There is no such thing as pink Lowy's. It is just an Echeverry Lowy. If it turns pink, it is because of the cooler temperatures and the, and the light. That is it. You see inside there, that's blue. But a far away, like that, it's pink, right? It's just a Lowy. No such thing, okay? Uh, this, this is happening because it's been stuck inside a box for like a week and a half. So that's why it's spreading out like that, you can tell. It, it, needs, it needs light, so it's gonna close up when you give it more light. Uh, the Graptivari Tibetans, much bigger than what I have. The Cultilidons, oh my god. These things are so fragile. Look, I'm gonna keep this for myself, of course, but look. Fragile, but they, they will bounce back, no worries. They will bounce back as long as the codex is fine. And it's fine, you know, like at the bottom is just like left over like leaves, whatever, whatever. I, I, I don't know what to say. It's just, it's just very fragile during shipments. And if you understand that, you can't be mad at the seller. And I'm simply not mad at the seller because I understand that is fragile. That's it. Okay, so I think we're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. Uh, this is the tray of all my tools in here that I have. I always have a nice tray to leave all your tools, okay? So be organized, you guys. Okay, and then you have the sense of area right here. We have the Golden Wendy, which is really cute. You see that? That's cute, right? Uh, the Tsunami, Twisted Sister Tsunami. Everybody loves that. You got the Pagoda, straight out of Pagoda. Oh, so beautiful. You got the Margarita as well. Looks almost the same, but actually no. Yeah, no, they're different. The margaritas. And then you got the whale fin right here. This is Tristan's. Whale fin, you see here. Super variegated, less variegated. Super variegated, less variegated. So that's this is my, I can't sell to people. Cause you know why? People are like, oh my God, it's not growing or it's dying. I can't sell them some. Anyways, uh, Japanese purple for Faria. She got, I gave her a good head. KS Red Trump, Viscosa's right here. Yeah, so Viscosa, like no other like normal Haworthia, low light, more light, they turn darker, okay? More little donuts. Golden princesses. Oh, they're really huge. They're huge and very sharp. Uh, I don't know what these are called, I forgot. But they're also, they're like these, but not that golden variegated. And then this is a tray of things I don't really care for. Yeah, I don't really care for, I don't really what to do with them, really. We'll see what to do. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll find out what to do with them. Oh, and also see, this is the Acavoides that I, I keep getting. This is the one I want. This is what I keep getting. I don't, I don't want this, I want this. You can tell the difference. This is what I really want, this one. Oh my God, I finally got it too, thank God. Hallelujah, girl, hallelujah. And then this is my uh, container of like dirt boxes so that the cat doesn't jump in and do weird shit to it, right? And down there is, uh, is where I put the shelving units and all the toxic stuff right there, right? And you got the garbage can. And lastly, is say hello to the pothos over here. All right, so to the pothos. So what I was thinking of doing with the pothos is I'm gonna keep this here. I'm gonna move these two somewhere else so that way this huge thing can just grow all around. So I'm gonna move these two to somewhere else. Yeah, those two to somewhere else. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for the tour. Oh my God, you guys, you guys made it through this long? I wanna say thank you all, you all. Hopefully you guys enjoy the tour. If you do, thumbs up. Don't forget to press like and subscribe, you know, right? Definitely to press subscribe. And look at my beautiful Christmas tree up close. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, girl. Anyways, so have a wonderful holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa. Uh, happy Festivus for the rest of us, right? And, hope, and I'll see you guys in 2019 where you know there's gonna be more things for me to bring in and more things for you to see. And yeah, hold on, let's see. Is it me? Is it, is it me you're looking for? And that's it. So thank you so much for watching all through the year, all through the tour guide and everything. And I'll see you guys in 2019. Love ya, bye.